In farming and in life, it's said you reap what you sow. So when Russian soldiers took Ukrainian farmers' land, they got on their tractors and took their tanks. Their images that fill Alexander Shabina with pride. We're all Ukrainian. We didn't go to them. They came to us. And this is typical of Ukrainian farmers. Farmers have found themselves in the firing line during this war. Their grain storage facilities have been attacked. Shelling has left their green fields covered in craters. And some have even been mined. Everything we're doing now is related to the war. We go to bed and we don't know if we'll wake up tomorrow. Vitaly Kostritsha grows corn, wheat and barley, but he can't even sell his grain at cost price, let alone make a profit, because Russia has all but destroyed Ukraine's export market. Its blockade of Black Sea ports is starving farmers of income and Ukraine of a big source of national wealth. The attacks on infrastructure and the blockade on exports don't just hurt Ukraine, they hurt the world. About half the wheat bought by the World Food Programme comes from Ukraine, so Russia's war could have devastating consequences for those who can least afford them. Anatoly Hosenko's son is on the front line while he's working on the farm. It's been hard to get enough workers with people fleeing or fighting, and the curfew means time in the fields is limited anyway. He says it's a shame this fertile land isn't reaching its full potential. It's such rich black soil, he says. This land is his life and it shows. Do you think that people understand how important Ukraine is for feeding the world? Now they do understand, he says. They may not have before, but now they get it. But farmers here aren't standing still. Vitaly, like many others, is donating his excess wheat to feed soldiers and refugees. It's milled nearby and taken to this old bakery, revived after 35 years just for the war effort. Its wood fire oven turns out more than 250 loaves a day. Livestock is also being sacrificed. These pigs have been donated and Alexander's team turns them into stew to send to hungry troops on the front line. This is a struggle for all Ukrainian people against the invasion, and farmers can play a special role. They know their land better than anyone, and if Russian troops try to take it, their tractors will be ready. Nick Dole, ABC News, Dnipro.